Hello Edge Yoga School. My name is Ashley Campagna of Ashley Campagna Yoga and welcome to my restorative yoga class. A few things you might need for this class, two to four blocks, two to four straps, uh, a couple blankets, and two bolsters. Things you could find around the house to substitute for actual yoga props could be books for your blocks, uh, even weights would work well. Uh, belts or scarves, usually people have blankets, and then pillows. So I would say about four pillows would probably equal two big bolsters. Also have a chair handy and possibly a table for this class. Uh, before you begin, please always consult your physician or your doctor first before starting a new practice like yoga. And when you're ready, we'll begin. Okay. For our first pose, we're going to be taking Upward Plank Pose, or Salamba Purvottanasana. For this one, you can use a table, actually, to place your, your um, props on to kind of lift you up a bit more. But I don't have a table at the moment to help to show that, so I'll just show you how to place the props and rest on your mat. So you'll need two blocks up against the wall. We'll be using the wall as a prop as well. Two blocks underneath this top bolster and the bolsters are stacked kind of like stairs. A blanket at the end to rest your head on. So you may need to adjust a little bit as you go. But you'll place the arches of your feet on your blocks up against the wall and then you can take a seat on this first bolster. From there, rest your head back, extend your legs long and release your arms off to the sides. helps to open up the front line of your body. This pose is great to do in any trimester if you're a pregnant practitioner. And it helps us to breathe deeper, open our hearts, our chests. We tend to curve forward a lot in our everyday lives, so this helps to just open up that line you can hold each pose anywhere from 90 seconds to 10 minutes, depending on how it's feeling in your body. And when you're lying there in these poses, just remember to find your breath, ujjayi breath in and out through your nose, or you could breathe with open mouth exhales, it's a cooling breath. But breathe deeply and allow your body to just melt into each pose. The props are there to support you. And when you come out of this pose, just gently press your hands into the floor or your table if you have a table. Scoot your bum down and bend both knees in. Give yourself a little hug to counter that pose. It's a bit of a back bend. on to the next pose. Our next pose is Ardha Uttanasana or halfway lift. For this pose you'll need a chair with the back facing you. Um, I like to put a blanket over the top just to cushion my forearms. If we had the use of a rope wall you could place two ropes around your upper thighs here right below your, your hip points. But since we don't have that today we'll just be using our chair. So to come into this pose take a nice strong stance. Place your feet about the width of your mat, maybe wider. And then place your hands on the back of the chair. Just ease yourself down. Rest your forearms down. Palms face, face each other. And then look down to your mat. Biceps in line with your ears. And find a concave back, so a little bit of a sway in your spine. You can always bend your knees slightly you have hyperextension in your knees or any discomfort there. And then just let yourself open up here. Your chest should open, your shoulders, your biceps. Again, breathe deeply. Try to evenly distribute the weight on the bottoms of your feet so you're not rocking into the, into the blade edges at all. Wow. 
allow some length to, to travel through your tailbone and through the crown of your head. So you're creating a bit more space in your vertebrae here. And hold anywhere from 90 seconds to, I would say, three minutes. And to come out of this pose, just gently walk your hands up, walk your feet in, and we'll move on to the next pose. Our next pose is Downward Facing Dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. For this one, if we had a rope wall, you could place the ropes around that same area that we were showing you in Ardha Uttanasana, half lift, right below your hip points. Um, you can also put a wedge under your heels. I don't have a wedge today, so I'm going to be using blocks under the arches of my feet. And then a bolster and a blanket to cushion your head. So to come into this pose, bring your feet wide and fold forward. Taking your time, walk your hands down. And then walk your feet towards your blocks and settle in to your down dog. So this pose, you're in a, a V shape or an inverted V shape, you can press into the blocks for support using the wall. And then the bolster and the blanket are just there to cushion your head and let your head rest. You can help, you can move, melt into this pose a little bit, letting your shoulder blades fall down into your sockets, press into the knuckles in your hands to draw a bit of the weight out of your wrists and find a gentle scoop in your belly here. Again, breathe deeply. This pose is great for all trimesters. And just remember to hold for probably about 90 seconds, I would say. This is an inversion, so you want to be cognizant and a little bit Careful, especially if you are pregnant. I wouldn't hold this pose for more than 90 seconds in my first trimester. To come out of this pose, just gently bend your knees. Take a rest on your bolsters. Next, coming into half moon pose or Ardha Chandrasana. This one, if you do not have an Iyengar trestle, which I do not, um, I'm going to be using a, the back of a chair, blanket on the top to cushion my leg, as well as a block and the wall. So you'll place your back up against the wall as far as you can to use that to support you. So to come into this pose, be gentle. I would back up to the wall first, plant your hand on the block, and then place your leg onto the chair or trestle or table. From there, press down into your block, press your back into the wall, and extend your arm up to the sky. This pose is great for all trimesters. Just breathe here. Really use the wall for support. Feel it as you, as you press your back into it. It really feels lovely. Breathe, feeling that weightlessness in your top leg, planting and grounding down through your bottom hand. And when you come out of this, just release your leg first. Come on down. From there, you move the chair to the other side and take the other side. So we will replace the block on this side and move our chair. Again, to come into this first, place your hand, your opposite hand on the block, back up towards the wall and extend your leg onto your chair. You might have to adjust. Walk your foot back, plant your hand, and then press your back into the wall. Release your top hand up. 
breathe. Spend your ujjayi breath. I would say this is a good pose to take for 90 seconds. It's a bit more of an active pose. But really the wall support feels wonderful. down and you're finished with that pose. Next we'll be taking pyramid pose or Parjvottanasana. For this you'll need a chair. Um, I like to place a blanket on the top to cushion my forearms. So to come into this pose choose one of your legs, place your hands on the back of your chair. I'm going to go with right leg first and then you can decide how wide you want your legs. I like it a little bit wider for an extra stretch. And then from there, rest your forearms on the back of the chair. And let yourself rest. Let your chest go down, a bit of a concave back here. You should feel the backs of your legs open. Make sure that you're evenly distributed through the bottoms of your feet. I tend to rock into the, into the blade edges. So Really press into the big toe mounds of your feet. If you need to keep a micro bend in your front knee, that is absolutely fine, especially if you have hyperextension in your joints. It just helps to protect the joint here. So breathe 90 seconds to three minutes. to come out of it and walk your feet forward and switch sides. Place your left foot in front, right leg back, toes, both sets of toes point forward. Again, opening up your chest, your arms, lengthening the backs of your legs, a little bit of a concave back. You can look straight down or even forward. It's up to you. Just feel around in this pose and how, what parts of it feel good to you, what maybe don't. Remember to keep a micro bend in your knees to protect your joints if you need to. Coming into halfway lift or Ardha Uttanasana once again. You can use a table for this one. I'm going to be using the back of the chair again. So you take a nice strong stance. Feet are wide, hip distance or a little wider. Walk your forearms down to rest on the back of your chair or table and then just bend them in for this one and either rest your forehead on your forearms or look forward. Concave back once again, straight legs. If you have any pain in the knees or hyperextension, you can always keep bend, a micro bend here. I like to rest my forearm, my forehead on my arms here. That just allows to let go a bit more, melt into the pose. And that way you can scan your body and find the areas that are holding onto tension and release those areas with your breath. Hold for 90 seconds to three minutes. And this pose is great for all trimesters. To come out, walk your hands up, walk your feet in. For this next pose, we'll be taking cross bolsters. So you'll take two bolsters and cross them, just like this. Two blocks right underneath either side of the top bolster. Two blocks to support your heels and two straps. The first strap would go, will loop around your upper thigh so that your legs can stay hip distance. So tighten it to the point where you can't move your legs too, for, too much further past hip distance. The second strap is going to go over your big toes. 
So you loop it around so that you can keep that hip width distance once again. And then scooch back onto the bolster and lower yourself down. Nice and slowly. Once you're there, you'll want to take your blanket and just kind of rest it under your neck. Arms go off to the sides. And just allow yourself to relax into the pose and melt away. You are held up completely by props so you can completely let go. This pose, once again, opens the front line of your body, so allow this opportunity to breathe deeply and let go. pose, gently bend into your knees, and just slowly roll off the bolsters. You're going to need to use both hands, because you're kind of high up there, and then just rest in a fetal pose for a few moments to counter that pose. Our next pose is two-legged inverted staff pose, or Divi Pada Viparita Dandasana. Uh, for this pose, we don't have an Iyengar bench to use, so I'm going to be stacking two bolsters on top of one another, a blanket rolled up at the end, and a strap for around my thighs. So to come into this pose, sit at the edge of your bolsters, place the strap around your upper thigh, just like we did in that other, the last pose, cross bolsters. Tighten it so that your legs don't go past much, much past uh, hip width distance. From there, take a deep inhale, and on your exhale, gently walk yourself back. Allow your legs to extend out long and release to the side. If you want, you can grab your blanket and kind of place it under your neck for support. Again, this one really opens up the front line of your body and aids in deep, expansive breathing. good for, for all three trimesters. I always caution during the first um, just because sometimes the deeper back bends can feel a bit funky. And to get out of this just the way we came out the last time. If you're pregnant though you will want to roll over to the left side always. So gently use both hands to slowly ease yourself off of the bolsters Hug up into a ball, fetal pose, and then slowly help yourself up, nice and slowly. Next we're taking legs up the wall pose or Viparita Karani, one of my favorites. So for this pose, I tend to cue it so that you're sitting on your bolster one of your sides is all the way up against the wall. Gently lower yourself straight back. And then from there, walk your feet up. I'm using a bolster here for under my low back and a blanket under my shoulders and my head. From there, you'll want to scooch yourself so that your bum's all the way up against the wall or as much as you can. And then you'll just rest your arms to the sides and let gravity do the work. This is a great pose for all trimesters of pregnancy. Really, really good one if you have restless legs. So if you're ever not able to fall asleep, stay in this pose for a few minutes and see if it helps. Concentrate your air into your belly Close your eyes and breathe. To come out of 
Bottoms Pose. You just gently walk your feet down one by one, rolling off the bolster into that fetal position once again. Curl up and rest for as long as you would like. Next we'll, we will be taking uh, Bridge Pose, Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. So this pose you'll need a bolster, two blocks to cushion your hips, a blanket for your head and shoulders, and two blocks for your, your heels, as well as two straps. So take a seat on that set of blocks. Place one strap around your ankles so that they're kind of nice and taut. Second strap up around your upper thigh area. You may need to loosen it just a little bit because this one will be a bit higher up on your thighs. From there, place your hands on the bolsters, place your heels on the blocks and gently lower yourself down. You may need to adjust your blanket slightly so that it cushions your neck and shoulders. And then from there, just melt away once again. This is great for all three trimesters. This particular version here is for the first trimester of pregnancy. If you were in the second or third, you would place your feet wider. side if you're pregnant roll to your left side into the fetal pose and curl up gently help yourself up the next pose is seated spinal twist once again or bara dajasana so we will take our bolster and place it up against the wall down and bend your, your legs back. Take a deep inhale, lengthen up. On your exhale, twist towards the wall, placing one hand on the wall, or two hands on the wall, nice and wide. Inhale to lengthen again. Exhale, twist, pressing more into your left hand to draw you into the twist. Good for all three trimesters, but be gentle, especially in your first. Always an open open twists in pregnancy. And then exhale, release. And just flip on over to the other side, right thigh rests. Deep inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist, hands go wide. Keep that breath cycle going. Inhale to lengthen and bring some space in between your vertebrae and then twist to the back. And release. Hug your knees into your chest and then move on. Our next pose is wide angle seated forward fold or Upavishta Konasana. So for this we'll need a bolster. If you're pregnant you'll use a blanket under your belly and a chair. I like to place a blanket on top on the seat of the chair just to cushion my head. So from here you'll let your legs go long out to the sides Press your bum onto the bolster and then widen your seat. From there, take a deep inhale. Exhale gently. Walk your hands down and rest your forehead on the seat of your chair. This is deeply relaxing. You don't have to hold on to anything. A bit intense in your inner thighs. But you can always move the chair forward or back to get the sweet spot here. If you had a big old pregnant belly, it would just rest right on this blanket for support. And I would definitely hold this pose for about five minutes. To 
come out, gently inhale, press yourself back up, grab behind your knees, and bend your knees up. Our next pose is reclining bound angle pose or supta baddha konasana. For this, you'll need a bolster, an extra blanket to cushion your head, two blankets rolled up to support your knees, and a strap. The strap you will loop around your waist first. You'll need it to be quite wide and loose to start. So loosen it up nice and loose. Place the soles of your feet together and place the strap around your ankles and your waist. From there, you'll, you'll tighten the strap as much as you would like so that your legs can completely release and let go. From there, take a deep inhale and exhale lower back onto your bolster. Let your arms rest at your sides and close your eyes. This is a deeply, deeply relaxing pose. So stay here as long as you would like. Great pose for every trimester. Really concentrate on letting go of any tension that's creeping in any in any areas of your body. Let the props do the work. And to come out, just gently walk your hands up. Release the strap from around your ankles and just windshield wiper your knees gently back and forth to counter the pose. Up next is reclined hero's pose or supta virasana. So you'll need two bolsters stacked like stairs and anywhere between one and two blankets on top of that. From there, you will back up towards your bolsters and place your knees together and your legs on either side of the bottom bolster. From there, take a deep inhale. Exhale, gently rest back. And place your arms overhead, grabbing for opposite elbows, and rest here. Again, letting the props do the work. Opening up the front line of your body, lengthening your calves, Gently walk your hands back up, pressing into the floor, rise up. A good counter pose for this pose is Paschimottanasana, so you can extend your legs out in front and gently fold forward. Another great way to neutralize your spine after back bends is to take a gentle twist from side to side. And we're coming into our final pose, which is Shavasana or co corpse pose. So just remove one of the bolsters to the side, grab one of your blankets to place it on top to cushion your head. You can even take a blanket to cover yourself up if you want to get nice and cozy. From here, back up to your bolster. Cover yourself. So you're nice and warm. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower down. <clears throat> Rest your arms off to the sides and melt away, floating away, sailing away, whatever you need to get completely relaxed in this pose. Picture it. Breathing deeply, releasing tension that creeps in. Hold this pose for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes or longer. It's up to you. When you're ready to move on, 
take a deep inhale. Deep exhale out. And gently bring movement to your fingertips and toes. From there, gently bend into your knees and roll into the fetal position to your favorite side. If you're pregnant, always rolling to the left side. Gently make your way to Sukhasana Easy Seat. Close your eyes, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just let a wave of gratitude wash over you. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and exhale them to heart center. Thank you for sharing your beautiful and inspiring practices with me today. Please go in peace with joy in your heart. Namaste.